Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. And it's been raining all night and most of the morning. I've already gone out and done chicken chores and whatnot, so I want to show you how Torch is doing. Look at, look at you guys. I can fit my bangs behind my ears now. Oh, still got the forehead action going on, but ah, I kind of dig it. I love the streak. I love the streak. Who we got over here? Torch is in there. They're all in there. They're all in there dust bathing. And look at Torch's crop is off. Oh, oh. <laughs> there he is. I think he's okay. I think maybe he was just a little dehydrated because it's been hot for several days. Either that or he just got really stressed. Really stressed out because. Where'd you guys go? <laughs> really stressed out because of well, he experienced a stressful. What's up, girl? He experienced a stressful event. And I think that may have had something to do with it. And he freaked him out and he quit eating, quit drinking. But looks like all is well now. Who we got over here? One baby chicken. Did you guys lay your eggs yet? Would you look at that? Three eggs already, and it's not even 11 a.m. Right on. I let all the other chickens out to free range, and I am keeping all of the baby birds in here. It was hard doing that, too, separating them and letting only a few of them out. So I can keep an eye on Torch, and he won't have to be by himself all day long. And they do want out, but nope. Look at that. Torch is just moving around. He's fine. He's back to his old self. I think today is a wood gathering and moving day. Phew, look at all that wood that has just been sitting here with Kieran that I need to split up. So I need to rearrange some things and oh my gosh, it's gonna be so much work. You know what I was thinking about? All of those viney things, that's poison ivy. And I don't think you can burn logs with poison ivy on them unless you wanna get sick. So give me your thoughts on that. I'm gonna, Hmm, I'll figure something out. In the meantime, gotta start stacking. Ah, look what was hiding in the logs. Glad it wasn't a snake. Hi, Froggy. I'll deal with all that later. I'm gonna strip the vines on another day. I can't do it today because I'm trying to get this stuff done because it's gonna rain here in a little bit. And then I'll split those up. But this is the oldest stuff. And those two logs, this is the newest. So... Time to chop as much of this up as possible. I'm going to start with the big ones because that's what I need. I need the bigger ones. Time to have some bow saw fun. You guys have seen me do it before, so I won't put you through it. <sighs> it's starting to sprinkle, so I got this much done. I got those two big logs over there. That's just one piece of the big log, and I got all the big parts off. And I'll, I'll do the smaller parts some other time. I just really wanted the bigger pieces cut up. So that's what I did. And... Check this out. Those little bugs, those grubs. Big kissing bug. Chicken dinner. That's an improvement, but I'm going to need a lot more. A lot more wood. And this is basically just kindling. So, yeah, next step. Split all that. What I want is wood from here all the way over to here. And all the way up to here. <laughs> you think I could do it? I got a long ways to go. It only rained for a minute, so I'm gonna see if I can tackle some of this. You know what time it is. Ta da! I got it all the way up to the back of the tiny house, and there's a little bit more over here. I can get that tomorrow because it is officially starting to rain. I did good. Well, one of the little birds escaped. So I opened the gates for them all. Come on, Torch. Oh, come on. Go around the other way. I'm tired. I have no patience right now. Come on, Torch. I don't. There we go. The other door isn't open, so. There. Look it. He's back to his old self. Just a little bit of nurturing. And he's better. I think, I don't know, maybe he was just stressed. 
Maybe this, this thing that happened to him just stressed him out so much. Look at him. Look at him go. He's back to the normal torch. I don't think I have to worry now. I just need to make sure that this is a calm, stress-free environment for my chickens. And, um, well, just enjoy them. Look at them all. They're all out. Hi, Romeo. Can you give me a cockle doodle doo <laughs> Look who's in there. Do you see him? Rocky, the beautiful barred rock rooster, and Miss Olive. I have had to relocate them here because they were terrorizing the Easter Eggers too much. There was feather loss and crying and gnashing at teeth at roosting time. So, yeah, that wasn't a good idea, but I still love them. And I'm going to give him this nice tray of mixed greens because I love them. And so I'm probably going to have to enclose this yard and figure out a way to, you know, let them roam around out here so they can't hurt other chickens. He's loving it. Olive will come by later. Maybe she'll come by now. I still love them, but I need to keep the other chickens safe. Look at my multicolor peppers, you guys. Look! There's two plants in this one. This plant's going to give me yellow peppers. This one's going to give me green. It looks like this one's going to give me green. There's two plants in this one. Looks like this is going to be green. Um, I can't tell what these are going to be because they're too small. This plant's going to give me yellow, I think. <laughs> Don't know about this one. This one's too small yet. This one's too small yet. But they're starting to so show some fruiting. Yeah, that one looks like it's going to be a green pepper. These green bean plants are freaking me out. This one's doing really well. And yeah, it's going to give me some beans here eventually. This one started coming back and it looks like it's trying to die again. So why would one be doing good and the other not? They're both the same soil. I have no idea. All this cayenne for my dyeing experiment is starting to ripen. And these have so many peppers on them, they're starting to lean over. I wish they would start ripening soon so I could start drying them out. And of course a nice tray of mixed greens for the Easter Eggers. I'm going to have to shoo these chickens away. You already got your greens. You're out free ranging. All of you. Go. Well, a few of them have figured it out. There's still one who can't figure it out how to get to the greens. Poor chicken. You got to go out. Uh, well, she's got to figure it out. <laughs> That's funny. I had to split it up. I split it up because one of them just couldn't figure it out. She'd leave the coop and come over here and keep circling back and forth inside the pen. So everybody's happy now. Look at that. They're really going to town on it now. Oh yeah. They love it. You know, I bring in worms to them too. They won't eat the earthworms. They, they just look at it like it's some weird foreign creature. But they will eat the grub terra grub worms. Which brings me to my next subject. See this? Grub terra black soldier fly larva dehydrated grubs. Well, grub terra reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a giveaway. And I'm like, yeah, the lovely Miss Donna B already got me a subscription. So I get a bag of these every other week and my chickens, oh, they just love them so much. Even the Easter eggers over there, they'll eat them. Absolutely. I used to have to like shake the bag and the chickens would come running. Nowadays, all they need to do is see the bag and they come running because they know they're going to get something delicious. I mean, very nutritional as well. Crude protein, 36%. Crude fat, 35%. Crude fiber, 10%. Calcium, 2-5%. Lysine, 1.1%. And phosphorus, 0.75%. So there's lots of good stuff in these worms. So if you want a free bag of this and you own chickens, yeah, you got to own chickens or poultry, you know, or, you know, some other animal that might eat these, but you got to own a farm animal that would be likely to eat these. And just leave me a comment down below. Tell me how many chickens you got or ducks or whatever. And um, how much you would love to have some of this. 
and I'll write your name down and I will put it in a hat and draw from the hat and I'll make a video of me doing it too so it'll be all fair. So yeah, let me know if you want a free bag of this. I want you to get a free bag of this because your chickens are absolutely going to love it. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.